In this video, we will go over step two to demonstrate how to determine the gender predominance of each job class. Haifa and Lucian, owners of Upcycled Fashion, are seen in their office discussing step two of the toolkit. Now that we have identified all the job classes in our company, we need to determine a gender for each of those job classes. Why would we have to do that? Because that's the only way you identify and correct gender bias and discrimination in pay. How so? Let me take you back to a moment in history when women's work was undervalued. Before the 1960s, men dominated the workforce. When women finally started joining the workforce, they were clustered in certain areas of work more than others. For example, you may have seen more women working as receptionists, whereas you may have seen more men in mail delivery. Even though both types of work are equally important to the company, the work that is stereotyped as women's work has been historically undervalued and underpaid compared to the work that has been stereotyped as men's work. Believe it or not, this still happens today in the workforce. So if we don't identify the gender predominance of each job class in our company, we run the risk of perpetuating unconscious bias and undervaluing work that is stereotyped as women's work. Gender determination is not about social values regarding the binary or non-binary gender of any individual employee. It is about recognizing and reversing social stereotypes that undervalued work traditionally expected of women. If we want to recognize and reverse the gender bias, we have to start by identifying which classes in our company are male-dominated, female-dominated, or are genuinely already gender-neutral. That makes a lot of sense now. So how do we determine if a job class is a male or female? We need to first go to step two in the toolkit where there are three clear criteria to help us determine gender predominance, current incumbency, historical incumbency, and stereotype. Under current incumbency, we can enter the number of males and females we currently have employed for each job class. Under historical incumbency, we need to determine whether in the past we have employed more men or women in that job class. Under stereotype, we need to consider what most people commonly believe to be jobs held by women and jobs held by men. Finally, when we have added in all that information, we can decide if it is a male or female job class. If we see that there is clearly an equal number of males and females in a job class, then it is gender neutral. Okay. I can see that fashion designer is clearly a female job class because all the columns are female. But I can't decide what the marketing specialist job class would be. Well, right now we have Aaliyah and Ranji in marketing, but we have had more women in that position in the past, so it seems to be leaning more towards female. Right, but I think the gender stereotype for marketing might be male, so it could be neutral. We have to make sure our own biases don't get in the way. What makes you think marketing is male? I'm not really sure. I guess when I think of who I know that works in marketing, it's almost always male. I think this is one we should look up. Look, it says here on the Ontario Labor Market website that there are more women than men in professional occupations in marketing. So then it's a female job class. It's great to be learning about my own biases through this process. It looks like we now have five male job classes, eight female job classes, and one gender-neutral job class. We can now proceed to step three because we have both male and female job classes to compare. This video presents one hypothetical business scenario. It is for information only and is intended to assist employers in complying with the Pay Equity Act. It is not to be construed or considered as legal advice, nor warranted to be complete and accurate and may be amended without notice. It does not restrict review officers of the Pay Equity Office in their interpretation and determination of matters under the Act.